dear students today we will discuss about library classes in java now what is class library in object oriented programming a class library is a collection of pre written classes or coded templates any of which can be specified and used by a programmer when developing program in java java development kit or jdk includes all types of software tools which are essentially needed while writing programs suppose you want to display a text and you use system dot out dot printl and syntax for that these are pre written classes or inbuilt functions all such classes are called java class library or jcl the major component of jdk is java class library or jcl that contains various packages each package of jcl is a collection of classes containing different built in functions like print println nextint math.pow math.square root etc the jcl is a set of dynamically loadable libraries that java applications can call at run time because the java is platform independent and cannot depend on any other operating systems libraries all other programming languages also have their own libraries to run different functionalities as i told you before that jcl contains various packages now what is a package in java package is used to group related classes some important packages which are frequently used in java are java.lang java.io java.awt java.util java.math java.applet java.net packages are of two types built in packages and user defined packages built in packages are loaded with java as java.io java.math java.util etc user defined packages are created by the programmers to perform any specific functions as per their needs these are few built in java packages with their purpose java.lang contains classes related to string manipulation example string.length string.substring string.uppercase etc java.io contains classes for input output operations example buffered input stream buffered output stream etc java.awt contains classes to implement graphical user interface example text field text area checkbox these functions required when you develop any gui based java applications java.util contains utility classes to implement data structure you have already used one of uh, the function as uh, scanner java.applet contains classes for implementing applets these classes essential to develop web based or browser based java programs like online application form etc java.net contains classes for supporting network operations java.math contains classes for mathematical operations you already have used this package earlier example math.pow math.square root etc now include a package the keyword import is used to include a package in java program syntax import package name dot star example import java.io.star import java.util.star the asterisk sign indicates that all the classes of the imported packages can be used in the program in case you want to use any specific class of a package then use the class name in place of asterisk sign as import java.util.scanner java.lang is a package that is imported by default to any java program it is also called java default package you already known earlier about primitive data type and composite data type primitive data types are the fundamental or basic data types as int float double etc however during programming primitive types are not always sufficient to handle complex operations under such circumstances a group of similar or different primitive types may be included or represent a specific data type it is known as non primitive or composite or reference data type array is a composite data type that uses similar type of primitive data in java class is also a composite data type 
there is difference between primitive and composite data type just follow these points now let us discuss about a built in data type that is composite in nature and is referred to as wrapper class wrapper classes wrap the value of a primitive type in an object java uses wrapper classes that are a part of java.lang package whenever an object to a wrapper class is created a field in memory is allocated to contain a primitive data integer is a wrapper class that contains primitive data type int and the functions are integer dot percent to convert a string into integer and integer dot to string to convert an integer data type to string need of using wrapper class to store primitive values in the objects to convert a string data into primitive types and vice versa our data type starts with lower case letter whereas its wrapper class starts with an upper case letter methods of wrapper class conversion from string to primitive types integer dot percent integer dot value of long dot parse long long dot value of float dot parse float float dot value of double dot parse double and double dot value of now conversion from primitive type data to string integer dot to string long dot to string float dot to string double dot to string these are few assignments for you copy these in a paper and try to solve but these few assignments are not enough for your exam preparations you need to solve more assignments if you need solutions of these assignments and many other questions with solutions please whatsapp your name locality school board and class to 9874149220 please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get early notification thank you